Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Do you and your family enjoy playing domino games such as chicken foot or Mexican train? Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cute domino hub. I'll be using the M1 from Xtool and also their Creative Space software. So let's go ahead and get started with the software tutorial. So I'll be using Xtool's Creative Space software. I've got a new project started. And the first thing that we need to do is create the shape to represent the size of the domino. So I'll go over to the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle, go over to the lock aspect ratio and unlock it. Now my domino measures one inch wide, so I'm going to put 1.1 just to give it a little bit of extra room and it's two inches tall. So I'll put 2.1 and hit enter. Then I'm going to add a small radius around the corners. 0 0.2, hit enter, and now we have our domino shape created. So I'll put it up here for the moment, and I need to make a copy of this. So I'll hit Control C on my keyboard, and then Control V to copy and paste. Bring this over here. Next, I'm going to draw a circle. So I'll go over to the circle tool, hold down my shift key. This will maintain the aspect ratio. Then under the width, I'm just going to type six and hit enter. Then I'm going to place this over the domino. Now what I want to do is just have about a quarter of the domino overlap the circle. So this bit right here, now this is what's going to be removed to make the domino hub. Now with that domino still selected, I'm going to go down to the applications select circular array and let's take a quick look at these settings you don't need to be concerned about the x the start should be zero the step should be 45 which is 45 degrees we're going to need a total of eight copies the end will be 360 360 degrees makes a circle and y is what we're going to change so if you look at this top arrow here then click and hold it with your mouse. The software will start to space out those eight dominoes or the seven dominoes. And once we get it to a point where it looks like it's equally spaced, I'm going to click OK. So this one says 6.823. That may vary a little bit uh, with your own dimensions. So I'll click OK to select that. Then I'm going to close the Applications tab. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go to one of the new tools here. Under align, it used to be you would have to do a horizontal and vertical alignment separately. With version 2.0, you hit align center and it does both of those actions with one click. So that's really good news. Thank you, Xtool. Now, next thing we need to do is make the indentations for those dominoes. So we've got both things selected, the dominoes and the circle. So I'm going to go down to combine and I'm going to choose subtract. And there you go. There we've got our domino hub. I'm going to take our original domino, bring that in. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, hit enter, select both of those items, go to align, align center, Go back to the combine tools and this time we'll choose subtract at overlap and now this has made it one piece so what we do in our family we call this game chicken foot it's also been referred to as mexican train you may know it by another name or you may use one of these domino hubs for another type of game so now that you've got the basic file created the next step is to go ahead and personalize it so that's what I'm going to do next. All right, I took a few moments to go ahead and personalize my own chicken foot domino hub. So I've added the text chicken foot and I've added a couple of little chickens here. So the next thing I need to do is assign the layers 
uh, the different parameters. So for example, the domino hub is going to be cut. Now I just have my own personal legend that I use for this. To me, red indicates cut. So I'm going to right click and choose red. Go over to the processing type and I'm going to select cut. And in this case, all of these other items are going to be engraved. So if I click down here on the layers panel, actually if you click on the layers, it comes up here a little bit easier to see. I'm going to choose the black layer and you can see that selects my text and also the two chickens. So I'm going to go over to processing type and I'm going to select engrave. And so this is now ready to be sent off to the laser for processing. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'll be using three millimeter basswood for this project. And my cut settings were 100% power, a speed of five and one pass. For the engraved settings, I'm using a power of 35, a speed of 250, one pass and 100 lines per centimeter. Well, that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you choose to do so. So until next time, happy crafting!